guys and welcome back to, uh, to this cool video which is a requested video for the Aerial Atom 500 V8 engine replica so this is uh, I searched hard the internet and the information about uh, the V8 is so so little I mean the the supercharged uh, Aerial Atom the regular one uh, all information about it is, is available everywhere but the V8 or the Aerial Atom 500 is so rare to find any information on it of the engine itself what's the bore and stroke of it uh, what kind of fuel uh, delivery uses and uh, what is the correct horsepower uh, because I already found the the correct sheet as a technical sheet technical technical specs for it and um, you will be surprised. I mean, the Aerial Atom 500 is just a name. The the correct or the true or the true horsepower of it is not 500 horsepower. You will see it in the end of this video when I run this engine. Let's start with the specs. It's a 90 degrees V8 with aluminium silicon. Actually, no, it's aluminium, not aluminium silicon. Yes, it's an aluminium. Uh, block with aluminium head head material. It uses dual overhead cam system with four valves per cylinder. It uses a billet steel uh, flat plane a crank crankshaft, I beam titanium connecting rods, and lightweight Ford pistons. Plus 15 qualities because that's how the area atom was made. Uh, the compression ratio was 13.9 to 1, which is so high for a V8, but it does work. Uh, the cam profile was, done, was for a racing, racing camshafts. VV variable valve timing for all cams, plus 15 again, naturally aspirated. The injection uses a direct injection or direct fuel injection with throttle per cylinder with a performance intake uh, manifold and intake system. Uses the, I mean, the Aerial Atom website, they said uh, this the Aerial Atom can run on premium 95 and plus so I'm, I used the 98 so, so the engine won't knock in the game when I tuned it perfectly the fuel mixture I used 12.6 12, 12 because this engine uses a very high compression pistons so I had to use high, higher fuel mixture ignition timing is so high the RPM limit is 10,000 uh, the real engine is uh, also 10,000 but in some uh, but in some versions they they made it uh, 10,500 10, so I'm gonna stick with 10,000 because that's what most websites says uh, the quality is plus 15 of course racing tubular uh, exhaust exhaust headers dual exhaust and this is the diameter high flow baffled because this engine love to have some back uh, black back pressure pressure so I use the baffled so I can get a, a one pound of two pound pound one pound foot of torque more so it's okay it's a little bit of gain uh, straight through second second muffler and plus 15 again so yes my friends as you can see the power is 475 because this is the true this is the true horsepower reading uh, they took the V8 from the atom and uh, they dyno they they dyno the engine and they found out that it produces 475 horsepower and uh, let's see and uh, 283 pound feet of torque this is the correct torque reading and the engine is uh, is very reliable of course and uh, the economy is not good because it's a it's a semi racing engine the responsive the responsiveness is very very high the smoothness is not very high because this is a not, not this is not a luxury engine this is a racing street car or a racing tra track car engine so it doesn't matter get really, really responsive this engine requires a lot of man hours and uh, it's the engine is lightweight 131 kilograms and yes my friend it sounded perfectly Hear it and enjoy it.
as you can see this is the power curve and the torque curve as you see here the power will drop uh, at uh, nine after 9400 even with the camshafts are, are set to 100 or, or even the camshaft are a racing camshaft the reason why the power is dropping like this because of the bore and stroke I try to play with bore and stroke this is the most perfect bore and stroke this this actually are this is actually the 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 official bore and stroke for the aerial atom VA500 V8 81.86.1 millimeter for the bore 64.6 for the stroke which equals 3008 cc so you saw it guys this is the aerial atom V8 I, this is not a perfect replica. I mean, um, the the it's the real one is of course it's a lot different from it. But I tried to uh, I tried to make it really really close. So this is a very close replica of it. Uh, the specs are all official, as you can see. But uh, but you know the shape of the intake and uh, the exhaust note and. Uh, the power curve is not like the real thing. I mean, I wish I could make it like the real thing, but I really tried hard to make it. And this is the final result of this engine, according to this, according to the official specs for it. So uh, again, for the fan that sent this uh, cool request, I I say to you, thank you, my friend. This was a cool experiment for me to do because I love the Aerial Atom. All of their cars are just amazing to, to, to be driven, uh, especially when I looked and on their website because they have a new range of cars. They have Right now they have a new uh, off-road car and they have a new uh, bike. Yes, I saw, I saw a sport bike and the Atom is still present on their website. But the, the regular Atom, the supercharged one, not the not the V8 one so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm sorry I'm, I'm a little bit tired I am, I'm a little sleepy so uh, thank you so much guys for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed this video really and I hope as you can see here I, I really love the carbon fiber uh, the intake manifold I mean carbon fiber is a nice touch and it's close to the real air atom engine so again, thank you so much guys for watching. Please, hey, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And uh, please, if you, are not a, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe for more cool videos. And if you, have an, if you have a request, please feel free and write your request in the comment section. And I will make it as soon as I can. Again, thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you in another video. Bye bye.